And action! Hey guys, happy Friday! First Friday of the new year. How's everyone's first week of the new year gone? Mine has been pretty good. It, uh, it's been pretty productive, I'd say. I, I've been writing. I've been writing up my script, and I've been writing at least one page a day, which, uh, as a writer, is not, like, the most accomplished that I could be with the script. But um, at least I'm doing it, and that was the goal was so far of the year was to to just keep writing and and do more writing because I would like to finish a few scripts a few more scripts than I did last year which was zero if unless you count my short film scripts then I made like 10 of those ish maybe um but I I, I got to focus on these features I got to make these big movies so I could make it big time. So, yeah, I'm really loving that I've been working on that, um, on, on the script, at least a page a day. And one thing that I, I basically said to myself was, um, when I'm at work, I'm just going to keep doing things that I, I probably shouldn't do. I'm just going to keep doing them until I, I'm told I shouldn't do those anymore. <laughs> like, <laughs> like um, for a while I was editing the podcast. I, I still haven't uh, been told not to, but I bring my laptop and I'll just like, um, I'll, I'll have my premiere open and just, just p- kind of put my laptop to the side and listen to the podcast. And then if there's something wrong, I'll like quickly go in and edit it. Uh, but I haven't, no one said anything about it yet. So for that I'm just going to keep doing it. And every time they ask me like, what are you, uh, what are you watching or what are you doing? I'm like, oh, just a podcast. And so, or I'm like, or a talk show, you know? So no, they, they, on that front, they think I'm, uh, you know, still doing that. But for the last two days, I started bringing the script I'm working on. And since I'm not, uh, typing it, I, uh, all my first drafts are always freehand. I, I, I write them um, by with like a pen or a pencil. Uh, actually, this, but this one I started ty- uh, typing on the typewriter. So I still have like a paper copy. So I've been, I brought, I've been bringing it in with me and I've just been writing with pen like the, the scenes and stuff like that. So um, I, I think that's a little more suspicious looking that I have a stack of papers in front of me that have nothing to do with the work I'm doing. But uh, honestly, I'm just going to keep doing that uh, until they're like, hey, uh, we need you to not do that stuff anymore. But, you know, I mean, the job is so relaxed that like, I don't, the guys are so cool and laid back that I don't think that, that they'll say anything um, unless it starts like hindering all my work. But you know, it, it, the job is pretty easy, pre, you know, so it's like if I turn to write an idea down, I don't think it'll make any difference. I'll still get all this stuff done. Um, but yeah, I have been writing more and it's been awesome. Uh, I've been also in the product, the realm of productivity. Uh, I've been working on the budgeting for the the film that we're doing in Costa Rica because um, we have potential investors. So I have to get some budgeting sheets so that people can start seeing like what we need the money for and uh, how much of it. And tonight we're having a um, <coughs> um, tonight I'm meeting with the director and the other producer slash actor. And because tomorrow we have uh, our first table read, we have to, we're going to go through the script. We're going to see what works, what doesn't. 
uh, it's basically a lot of just development stage right now for the director because the dialogue is so loosely it was so loosely written by the writer um, because the the nature of the film so tomorrow uh, morning is basically gonna be like let's see what of the dialogue works and, and if stuff doesn't work where can we change it and um, how can we make it better and basically so that the director can hear like how the script sounds from other perspectives other than just his own in his mind so that's really exciting because I haven't done like a, a table read like this before and uh, I'm, I'm really excited about it we're gonna film it uh, we have like 10 or so people coming um, it should be a great time I'm really looking forward to it but and t but tonight we're like meeting about like who's gonna read what and uh, let some logistical things um, what else I recorded a <coughs> excuse me guys I'm sorry I'm still getting over uh, being sick I'm completely dumped the flu that is no more but I have this lingering cough and sometimes it makes me run out of breath, which sucks because I need breath. I need oxygen in my lung to, uh, you know, live and do things. Um, what the fuck was that? So I don't know if you could hear that music. I I'm sure you can hear the, the banging and thrashing that's happening outside. I apologize about that. I can't do anything about that they're constructing something on the apartment complex right next door and of course it's like right outside our window so uh nothing i can do <coughs> but if you heard that music that was my sound bar in my bedroom i have this super nice jbl sound bar that i love it it's the best thing ever it has the greatest sound quality but for some dumb reason it has like this bluetooth cap the bluetooth capability i love but for some reason it will allow just anyone to connect to it so randomly music will start playing or i'll hear like videos or some or like random stuff and it doesn't happen all the time but when it does it's it freaks me out and it's annoying and there have been times where like i've gotten woken up by it and I don't know how to stop that. Uh, maybe I should just Google it. But it's it's really annoying that like other people can connect to my speaker. You know, it just like... It, because, look, it just ruined this. You know? I'm not saying that the whole rest of this episode's ruined. But, you know, it, it it's annoying when like that happens. Um... You know, it's just inconvenient, it, you know, whatever. It's a, a stupid problem to have, but, you know, it's just annoying. I, I, I wish, you know, and people couldn't connect to my speaker. Oh, well. Um, what was I talking about before? Productivity? I recorded, oh yeah, I'm saying I recorded a new episode of the podcast yesterday. It'll be up on Monday. Um, I have my friend Brody on, um, we talked about film, filmmaking and, um, the side of the industry that he just got into, which is pretty interesting because I have no, not, I know nothing about, um, reality TV and that's what he's working in right now. So I think it's a pretty cool conversation. Um, and also, you know what I was telling you guys last week about the the podcast episode I did with Bowie. And for some reason, I have to message him about it, but for some reason, I can't find the um, recording of our conversation. Because we did it on Skype, I did the whole Skype record. You know, we recorded the video and, and the audio. Uh, I have like our first three attempts of it, but for I can't find the... The almost two hours that we talked for. And it's just not there. It's not on my computer anymore. Because it was there when we finished. I made sure 
and it definitely said recording when we started so i i don't know what happened hopefully bowie has the other has has the uh, has um, a copy of it because he sh you know if it shows up in the cuz when you record it shows up in the chat and so hopefully he has it or it's something on my end just went wrong he can send it to me otherwise we're going to have to re record that episode <laughs> it's a shame because we got some I had got some really good stuff from it um, yeah but I, I figured out the schedule guys to how to catch back up um, don't worry in like two weeks we'll be caught back up and it'll all be good everything will be perfect no problems but yeah so yeah anyone have any New Year's resolutions. I uh, I don't have resolutions. I stopped doing resolutions because I feel like resolutions you kind of fall flat on. Um, they're more like things that you say you're gonna do, and I mean like I, these words might be interchangeable, but instead of resolutions, I I started setting goals, and I made them short-term goals. Because, like, short-term goals are more easily achievable, right? So, instead of saying, by, like, by the end of the year, I want to blah, 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 blah. I go, like, by April, I want to be, you know, I want to be the, at the weight that I, I've always wanted to be, right? So, it's, like, 20 pounds. We could do that. Four months. Lose 20 pounds. Yeah, that's easy. All right. Just, you know? So... Short-term goals. Um, I I have I have had a goal since um, I don't know maybe last November or something uh, to do weighted pull-ups. And at the time I made the goal, I couldn't do a pull-up without like the assisted machine. And up until like the beginning of December, I finally was able to do a single pull-up. Um, so I have two more months. To get to the point where I can do weighted. And it, it, my goal isn't necessarily that I have to be, uh, that I can do a consecutive like 15 pull ups without res um, assistance. It's just, I want, my goal was I want to be able to do one pull up while holding some form of weight, you know, uh, other than my body weight. So free, you know, unassisted pull up with extra weight, it, it, just one, you know, that was, that was the goal. I don't need to do consecutive, but so if, as long as I can hit that, then, then that's just another, like the, it, it, it allows me to get to the next step of the goals. It'll be like, okay, awesome. So now I want to, the next goal will be, um, you know, 10 weighted pull ups with X amount of weight or something like that, um, or like dips or whatever, you know? So it, that's why I like the the short term goals because they're more easily achievable, especially if they're in shorter time frames. So if you say like in like a month or two, I want to be have this done, and you're like, and by the time you get there, you're like, <coughs> by the time you get there, you're like, awesome, it's done. All right, I'm ready for the next thing. So I, that's why I I like setting goals versus. Um, resolutions because they seem goals seem more achievable maybe it's like the word choice maybe it's the word goal uh, I, I don't know but that, you know it, it's all it's all relative to the mind it's all relative to how your brain thinks we all perceive things differently uh, all certain words certain um, images resonate differently with different people so I what I would say is uh, whatever you tell yourself whatever it is you need to tell yourself that will get you to to where you want to be. Um, whether you have to trick your mind into saying certain things, then do that because if you don't, you'll just be stuck. If you don't change the way you if you don't change the way you speak to yourself, you'll just wind up, you know, sitting on the couch watching Netflix all day long, like. I mean, like, 
I would love to do that, but I, I'll never get anything done. So, you know, whether you, you remember those like tricks you would use and in, in school and, you know, kids that are, if, if any kids are listening to this that are in school currently um, or college students or whatever, we would always have these like tricks and at least I definitely did um, where I'd be like, if I was reading a textbook or reading something or, or just anything like watching lectures online, I would set like little micro goals where it'd be like, okay, if you read 10 pages, you can have um, like an Eminem or you can watch one YouTube video or you can read one comic book, um, you know, so, and, and then, so it just, uh, allowed you to get through that like rough section or, <coughs> you know, because, because school, you know, it can be boring sometimes. It's like, oh, these are little incentives, but you can use those, that, that mentality for anything because, you know, like, yeah, we like, there's so many, there's so many movies, there's so many t much TV out there that we all want to watch. You know, there's so much out there that we like media that we want to consume, whether it's podcasts, videos, movies, TV, music, whatever that, that, yeah, we could sit here all day and, and just listen and watch and read things, but we'll never reach our goals because we're so consumed by the other things like the, you know, the non necessities of life. Um, that, that we get caught up. So we might as well make those things our micro goals and the things that we really want to strive for are macro goals because, you know, like say, say for instance, um, with this script, but I'm, I want to, let's say I, I, I haven't set a goal on when I want to finish it. I would, I would love, you know what, let's do it right now. I would love to finish my first draft by the end of this month. And every week I will check in with you guys to see how, how it's going. And right now I'm 30 pages. I have 30 pages. Um, I need about, uh, like 40 to 60 more, um, for this type of movie. I think 40 to 40 to 60 more pages would be perfect. Uh, so by the end of the month, if I have 40 to 60 more pages, then I've hit my goal. So I think like, so using this as an example, because it, it you know, it's depending on your mood, it's, it's, you don't want to sit down and just write and write and write, you know, uh, so, and sometimes you can't, sometimes your, your, your mind is blocked, your mind is on other things. But if you, if I set like, let's, hmm, how much, what have I tried to say? So, <laughs> So, okay, if every day I, I tell myself, if you write for 30 minutes straight, you can uh, watch um, one movie. And then, you know, after that, you work on the film, the, the, the Costa Rica film for 30 minutes, for, you know, or an hour or however long I need. And then you can... Uh, read a comic book or whatever, you know, so if I set myself these goals, then I can also get to the things that I want to get to, you know, y you know, it could be even be something as different as like, as like uh, one with writing. If, if you don't want to like set time goals, you could be like, Oh, okay. So if I write five pages today, then, then I can watch, uh, you know, that a couple episodes of that TV show or something like that. So if, if you give yourself incentives, I, f I feel like you're more inclined to get your work done that you want to do because, because then it's like, yes, I got the, the chunk of stuff that I want done. And now I can kind of relax and like take a step back. And then when you're done relaxing, you're like, okay, let's get back to it. And then you're like, okay, it's time to take another break. Once you've hit that time limit or, or page count or whatever it is. And that way you're not sucking up all of your time by just becoming a, a vegetable. And, and also on the other side of it, uh, of the relaxing side, you should set, you know, set yourself 
uh, parameters too. It's like, okay, only one episode, only one, you know, half the movie on, you know, uh, don't say like, I'm going to watch four episodes because then, then you're still wasting time. Uh, but you know, what? these are just things that I, that I think about and things that I think help me. I'm not saying this is like the absolute golden rule to getting things done. I'm a huge procrastinator. Uh, massive procrastinator. It is probably probably like one of my my flaws and weaknesses is just that I wait to the very last minute to complete things, complete works, you know, uh, whatever it is. It it was really big in school. It really hindered me in school, like being a huge procrastinator. Um, and that's one of the goals this year is to not be a procrastinator and just do the work set like uh, that I think that's the thing is just scheduling setting time frames saying like right you know today I want to write for an hour but let's separate it 30 minutes now 30 minutes later or let's today just write for half an hour um you know things like that and then you know there's there's things that I also want to do I want I uh, have this subscription to Masterclass. There are lectures I want to listen to. I haven't, I barely gotten to them. So it's like, okay, let's let's set thirty minutes to, uh, you know, thirty minutes to an hour on on watching these lectures that I want to get to. And so not only am I getting work done, but I'm also learning. Um, you know, I, I just want to absorb him from more information. <coughs> more information and do and just get more things done that was my problem last year was I just I did I felt like I didn't get enough done I didn't feel um not accomplished but like productive enough as far as filmmaking went I mean I've had these scripts I've had certain scripts half written for years that I always said I was going to finish and I just have it and I'm I'm getting we're I'm getting to a point in life where like if I meet someone and it's it's quite possible that it could happen at any moment because of all these connections that I've been making through friends and family and and um, other people that I've just met randomly is that when they say hey can I see your work it's like yeah I mean it's just half done it's like they don't want to people don't want to hear that so. I really need to just buckle down and get to the, get to work and, you know, worry about the other stuff later. Like if I, you know, like I don't need to go out and spend money uh, that I don't really have. I don't need to waste time watching movies because all of those things will still be there. When I, when I am through writing these scripts and I've gotten deals, I've gotten the, the, the direct the directing jobs that I wanted to all of those things all of the Netflix all of the movies will still be there waiting for me when I have you know when I have the time it, it, you know people will still be going out and I might as well just put all of that to the wayside and just focus on what I came here to do because at the moment I'm not it's it's like yeah let's go out let's go get a drink let's um Let's watch movies. Let's watch TV. Let's blah blah blah, and it, it it most of the time it really hinders me, and I and I don't like that, and so uh, I I'm thinking that I just need to be more strict with myself and more strict with more strict with my friends and saying, you know, hey, like I appreciate you wanting me going out with you tonight, but I need to do this. I need to focus on this. And yeah, I mean, it's good to socialize every now and then, but I, there's plenty of time for that later. And, you know, if, if I'm, if I'm wasting time doing like watching movie after movie after movie, because yeah, I, I can do that. I can watch three movies in one sitting, it, but you know, if I'm doing that, then the guy in the apartment across the way who wants to do exactly what I'm doing isn't watching movie after movie and he's writing scripts and editing his 
short films, you know, he's, he's already 10 steps ahead of me. So, you know, it, if you're not doing like, I, I, I keep reading this, I see it, I've been seeing it a lot lately. And, um, the quote is like, if you're not doing it, then someone else, someone else is already beating you to the game, to your own game or something like something like that. If you're not focusing on your craft, uh, then there's someone else who is just as capable or, uh, you know, whatever, something along those lines. Um, and so it really got to me like that. Yeah, it makes sense that there are so many people, especially in this industry that want to be at the top. And if I, and, and I, and I do too, but if I'm not putting in the work then I'll never get there. So I, I just need to, I think I just need to like buckle down, you know, uh, lock up the bunker and just get, you know, just, uh, sit by the candlelight and just write until, you know, until I'm done and come out of the, of the cave and be like, I got four scripts. Let's shoot them. You know? So I, uh, I think that's what I need to do this year is just focus on getting a lot more work done. Not saying that I'm going to be a complete shut in and never leave my apartment and never go out. But I just think that the amount of going out time and uh, time spent watching movies and stuff needs to be lessened um, just so that I can focus on my work because there, there are, like I said in past podcast episodes that there are still some short films that I haven't gotten done. There are still some things from my Western that I haven't gotten done. Like I haven't submitted to a festival in a while. I haven't um, gotten the movie out to people yet. Um, (coughs) there are certain things with the Kickstarter that I haven't finished yet that I have to send out. So it's, I mean, that, uh, that unfortunately that has to do with money, but, um, there, there are certain things that I need to get done is like this year. So it, and if I, those things are going to get done, then I got to be productive and I can't waste time. And that's what I'm trying to say is, is that if we, if we're all trying to be productive, then we can't waste time doing things that we know we shouldn't be doing. We know that, that we can do later, but we just can't resist. And that's the thing is we have to resist. Oh, this is good. I got, uh, I got a new drink. I tried a new drink from Starbucks. Oh, hey, they're back to their white cups. I didn't even realize. <laughs> I guess, I guess holiday season is over. Wah, wah. I got a new drink at Starbucks. I don't think I've ever tried this because I think I would remember. It's pretty dang good. It is a green tea matcha latte, green tea matcha latte or something. I don't know. I was, I was on the app and I was just like browsing. I was like, cause I normally, I normally get a vanilla latte and, um, I, I, after I got sick, I, you know, because it was like two or three weeks, I was, I was like, okay, this is a perfect time to stop coffee again because there was espresso in it. And, um, it was awesome because I wasn't getting drinks because normally I get a drink before a coffee or a tea or whatever before I go to work because it's literally right on the corner before I enter the building. So I'd order ahead. And I, uh, the last couple of weeks, the last week or two before getting sick, I was getting these, um, these English tea lattes or something. It was just like tea with steamed milk and, that was pretty much it. And I got one the other day and I was really sick of it. And so I switched back to chai lattes. And then I love, I, I love a chai latte. That Don't get me wrong. I think that's like my favorite. But I was like, you know what? Let's try something new. And I didn't want to do like, they had like a different English tea latte. Or it was called like a fog latte. And I was like, oh, I'll try that. But maybe some other day. And I kept looking and I was like, oh, green tea. Do I like matcha? I have no idea. And I was like, screw it. Let's just, let's just try it. And it's good. 
I really actually like it. I think I'm, I like it. Uh, you know, it's up there on the list now. But, you know, the thing I hate is when you try something new. I'm all for trying something new. But the thing I hate is when it's so bad and you're like, fuck, I should have just got that thing that I, I know I always like and that it never lets me down. Especially when it comes to food or drinks. Because it's just like so disappointing that you spent money on it. And it's like, gosh, dang it. You know, I did that the other day with, there's this, um, Whole Foods has this brand of tea that I like. And I was like, ooh, a new flavor. And, um, and I hadn't gotten it in so long because I haven't been to Whole Foods. So I got the, that brand, I mean. So I, I was like, okay, I'm going to grab the new flavor and that other one that I'm pretty sure that's the one I like. And the new flavor was so bad. It tasted like like the tea had been sitting for so long. And they're like, yeah, this is fine. Let's bottle this. It just tasted like old tea. Um, and it wasn't good. And the other one wasn't the right flavor, of course. But the, the new flavor I got, I couldn't drink it. It was so bad. It was such a shame. And, uh, yeah, that's, I always find that to be a bummer. This is like when you, when you trust one thing when it comes to food or drink and you're like, I'm going to go outside of my comfort zone and be adventurous and try something new. And you're like, Bleh, shit. Ah, <laughs> first world problems. Am I right? People, but yeah. Oh man. I'm uh so as you guys know um or ha if you've been listening to the whole podcast episodes um which you should by the way is that we have ads or at least one ad right now. And I've been I've been try I like I've been putting them at the end. I might start putting them in the middle for, like do like little ad breaks halfway through. Um but we got a new sponsor, and uh, the first sponsor was our host site, Anchor, which is awesome. Um, and then I just got a second sponsor. Um, oh, I forget what it is. It's, uh, oh, man, because I haven't recorded it yet. Like the way, so the way Anchor, the my, my um, host site, the way that they handle sponsors is when you, they provide sponsors for you, um, that they think will fit your, your podcast. And when a new one comes up, they, they let you know that you have a new sponsor, please record, you know, your sponsor, your, your ad, and then you can place it wherever you want it to go within your episode. So yeah, it's, things are, are starting to look good. Um, making a few shekels i wouldn't say enough to quit any jobs but you know the it, it's pretty cool because i didn't expect anything to happen with this podcast i never expected anything from it uh all i wanted to do was to inspire people to talk to friends and see what inspires them and to, it, it really just to inspire others and and you know, and that's still the goal is is to help others and just inspire others and just to chat with people and, and see, you know, what what drives them and what keeps them going with their craft and what they love to do. And, you know, if, if I can make. If this winds up making money, then then that's just a bonus. But to be honest, I, I I'm not really trying to do that with this. Um, and if it does make money, it's, it's going to go back into this for now, uh, because there's things I want to get to increase the, the, the production level of this. Um, you know, I want to get, uh, a, a, this mic stand's a little broken. I want to get a new one. I want to get a second mic stand so that, um, I'm not using the little swively arm anymore. <coughs> um, it was a good idea at first, but it doesn't have the capabilities that I want. So I want to get another mic stand. 
Um, I would like to get matching microphones at the, so that they sound the same. Um, you know, I, I want to get a different recorder. I want to get a few. Like, I, I want to do webcams. I want to get three webcams. Um, one like a wide angle shot like that. that you guys always see. And then I want to put like two close ups, one on me and one on the guest uh, so that there's variation of of angles um, so that you're not always looking at the same thing. So, I mean, like, there are things that I want to do for for that. Um, one thing I also want to do, which uh, don't tell Justin that it's for this, is I have this awesome idea and I think Justin's on board. I st I'm going to I'm going to like put together a little presentation for him. But from from the end of that wall to the end of this wall, the same wall, just the end, end one end to the other. I want to uh, have me and Justin pick our some of our favorite movies and get the mood those movie posters framed and put them on the wall. Maybe like ten or so, maybe a little like eight, you know. But I think that'd be so awesome just to have like a collection of of our favorite movies, their posters on the wall. Um, I don't know. I just there's something about that that, that I find really cool, and it would it, it it would be something cool to have in the background because you know this podcast is called written and directed by. I am a director. Um, I love talking about film. I love watching movies. So it'd just be cool in general as a cool uh, decoration, as a cool backdrop to this too, which would be pretty awesome. Um, so there you know there are things like that that I would like to do. Um, you know, and it may be eventually, depending on how things go with this, that uh, we can get like our own little studio space. That way, uh, Justin's not crawling in the background trying to get to the kitchen. Um, and I don't have to always break down the stuff and hide it in my apartment. I can have the lights always set up. We can have the microphones always set up and uh, make it our own little studio. But, you know... Hmm. When, when we get there, we get there. So, yeah, you know, I, I'm, I'm really excited for this year. There's a lot happening. There's a lot that will happen. I'm producing a feature film, uh, which I never thought I would, would say right now. I thought that would come later when I, when I fin you know, when I was in the deep, the depths of my direct directing career. Um, so, yeah, and I'm writing a, some scripts. Um, I have a bunch of friends that are on board who want to shoot more more short films. Um, which we're going to try to get itty-bitty movies up and running and consistent. Um, yeah, and a lot of just writings and just trying to get shit done. Justin's got some, uh, some, some amazing stuff in the works um, through connections that he's... He's made in the last couple months that, you know, <coughs> that he that he um, hopefully will bring me on, in on uh, because we work so closely together that that I'm sure I'll be involved in some shape or form. And if if not, if it doesn't work out that, you know, he's got his own stuff that's happening. That's amazing that I know down the line he's going to be like, hey, come do this with me. Um, which is awesome, and, and I'm not trying to bank my success, bank my success off his, but I just know that he's one of the greatest guys ever, and I just know that like he is, is so about getting friends involved with what he's working on that when the time comes, I know that all of us, all of the people that we work with, will be involved with what he's been up to, in, in some shape or form. And so that's that's cool too, um, but like I said, I'm not banking on his his little projects to or not little. They're actually quite big. Um, I'm not banking on his stuff to to launch myself. That's that's why I want to be more productive at, for myself too to like to write these scripts. Um, I would love to get a, f a first draft done for each story a month. I have three, so by like. March or April, I'd love to have the first draft of each one done. Some will take a little bit longer. Um, most of them are like at the halfway or the th or a third way point. So 
they're very easily uh, attainable goals. So, yeah, this this year is, is very exciting, and, and most of the, <laughs> most of the time I say that every year that this is going to be the year, but I honestly believe that this year has some amazing fucking potential. Just some great stuff happening all around us, um, all around me, all around my family, my friends, and all like collectively, there's some great stuff happening, um, especially with this Costa Rica film. It's going to be it's gonna be bananas, and I'm so excited. I'm so excited for this year. There's just endless possibilities, and things are going to get wild. Um, and yeah, uh, I'm so ready. Let's do this. Let's do this. And man, if I can get weird with you guys for a minute, if I can just like get on the loopy train with you that I, I, some people might consider to be and the people that consider this to be uh, wild and crazy, uh, they'll tune out. But the people that are on the wavelength, you know, the, if the people that are on the right <laughs> For the people that are on the right vibration, they'll they'll understand. But I've been like doing a little bit of meditating and been like talking to the universe and, and asking angels and spirit guides for help. And this year uh, it's gonna be great because already so already some, some amazing stuff has happened just by like reaching out to the universe and reaching out to spiritual advisors and spiritual guides and and just like just like the 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 angels that surround you you know if you if you believe in those types of things um if if not that you know no you know no uh no harm no foul but for me i i, I do believe that there are uh spirits and angels out there that are are guiding you and are there to to help you as long as you ask for the help. And recently I've done that and I it's it's I've only seen great amazing things. So the I'm just excited because the more the more I ask and the more I I I want to achieve certain things that the more that these angels and spirit guides are are willing to help because they want you to succeed. The universe wants you to succeed, and these these entities are here to help. They're they're here to guide. They're here to offer you assistance, but as only if you ask for it. And they're waiting for you. Uh, I I've been watching a lot of like spiritual documentaries and stuff like that, um, and talks, and and the the stuff that people say is incredible. Um, but you'll you'll never find those things within your own life unless you don't unless you ask for the help from from uh, the universe from angels from whoever it's so simple as just saying you know uh please help me <laughs> you know you know just ask 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 your angels and they'll they'll guide you they really will. They're 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 waiting for you to have, to ask, and um, yeah. So happy New Year, guys. Um, I appreciate you listening. I think I'm gonna wrap it up, but I appreciate you guys listening to today's episode. Uh, this is the first one of the new year. Um, Monday we will have the first guest of the new year. So I. I I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for listening to my little rant ramble. I don't know what it was today. I just wanted to record. Um, I, I got home. And I was like, let's record. So there was just something going on today where I just wanted to sit down and, and chit chat with you guys. Um, so I appreciate you listening. I hope everyone's new year was great. Uh, I hope your first week was amazing. And... Let's let's kill it this year, guys. Let's have an amazing year. Let's everyone just crack down and, and get to those goals that you want to achieve. There's nothing stopping you except for yourself. And as soon as you realize that, you'll blast through every goal that you've ever had. And 
that's what we should focus on this year is, is re- achieving our goals and reaching new heights. And we'll be here together. If you guys want to chat about it, if you need some extra help, extra motivation, reach out to me, leave a comment on the video, uh, DM me on Twitter or on Instagram. With my Instagram is Harrison Berger. Twitter is Harrison C. Berger. Uh, please subscribe to the podcast on iTunes. Uh, you can find me on Spotify. And anywhere you listen to podcasts, you can find me. Please subscribe to the, the video podcast on YouTube. Um, and thank you for listening. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, please share it with your friends and family. If there's something that you that resonated with you in any of the episodes, give it a share. And um, yeah, let's, you know, here, cheers. Here's to a, to a, an amazing new year, uh, an incredible 2019. We're going to, guys, we're going to reach our goals. We're going to do it. We're going to get to where we want. This is going to be the year. And like I said, if you need extra motivation, you need someone to chit chat with, talk to, uh, ask questions about anything, I'm here. Um, You know, feel free to message me. I'll be happy to message back. And uh, yeah, thank you. Thank you so much for listening. And uh, I, I appreciate and love every single one of you. I hope uh, your weekend is amazing. I'll see you guys on. I'll see you guys on Monday. Yeah. Have a great weekend. Cut.